Okay, so the project is almost done for the trailer. Um, still need to work on the inside. I just need to extend the towing trains. But I've got a lot of other things done on it. Uh, just, a, just some small things to button up. But with the Jeep, I noticed towing or just even hooking up the trailer. It, I had some sag in the back. So what I did was I added some airbags to the rear coils. I didn't want to give up the, the dual rate springs that are in there with the, the two and a half inch rock crawler lift and go with stiffer springs. So I still wanted the off-road capability of those springs. So I just added some uh, air ride uh, coil bags into the rear springs. At the same time, I also added in, I replaced the stock rubber isolator with a three quarter inch lift one. Um, I, Cause I took out the, the stock isolator when doing it, it only should give just about a half inch lift. And I saw that was sagging just a little bit just because of the extra weight of the uh, spare tire and that rack that I have on the back of the Jeep. So that evened out the ride as well. Uh, I did notice that uh, there's a lot of sway in the back though. So I was trying to fix that up with the coil bags. So you can see here, I do need to extend the chains out the longer. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to extend the tongue of the trailer uh, and build out an A to stiffen up the front of the trailer or just leave it like that. Um, I, I'm, I haven't really decided yet. I do want to add a lock and roll style connection point as opposed to a ball hitch. Um, so when I do that, I will then decide if what I'm going to do if I'm going to extend out that the front of the uh, the trailer. I also added on. I need to tie up those rear wires, but I added on a bumper to the back. And actually, this bumper is the perfect size off of a TJ Wrangler. That gives me some rear toe points just to kind of hook up some shackles to if the, the jailer, trailer gets uh, jammed up on a trail. It also gives me a hitch to put a bike rack on the back. So if I'm, if I'm towing it, I want to you know just add a bike rack to the back just to, to be able to carry bikes on here. And then I can pull it off when we get to the trail. But that bumper actually worked out very well as far as size. It was the perfect size for the trailer. And when we get back here to the rear suspension on the Jeep, you can see the airbags that I've added into the coils. And the air lines up to one central point right here on my rack. And you can see, it's gonna be hard to see in the video. There's not, not a lot of give in the back with the air in the airbags. We'll see, once I add, take the air out. I kind of missed it here, but I, the Jeep did drop down about a half inch when they let the air out. But once the air, let me put this down here so that doesn't get lost. Once the air is out of the airbags, there is a lot more movement to the Jeep. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with how everything's come out so far. 